Hey, over there, Joe Lunchbox here. And his wife, who's getting herself into a sticky situation, Joy Nightingale. And on today's adventure, we have landed here in Monroe, New York, at a spot called Museum Village. Um, we came here because my mom used to come here when she was a little girl. She said for elementary school, so she's walking around somewhere. We brought my mom. We didn't know when we first made this plan to come today. It's been trying to do this week after week, and Fell. first time we tried, I was in the hospital, and it's been a bad time making it. But we finally got here, and we just happened to come the same day there is a honey festival sticky going on. Yeah, that's why it's a sticky situation. So, uh, so. We're gonna go walk around a honey festival. Yum yum. And also look at this spot called Museum Village. I don't know what to expect. Usually when I make these videos, me and Joe have been spots before. We, oh my god, this is a first for both done, of us. Yeah, so I have Ooh. no clue. No clue what we're gonna see. It looks like there's a bunch of old buildings with some collections inside. So I like stuff, so I think I'm gonna like it. So uh, step right up. Let's go for this ride. <laughs> mom, mom, be careful. You're, there's two bees next to you. Don't get stung. Already good sign. Walked into the very first building to buy the tickets to go to this spot in the Honey Festival. And we already have a Mastodon femur. Old timey with Mastodon femurs and Mastodon jaws. Joy, this might be a good day. I'm excited. Yeah, it's cool. That was found in New York. Ah, found in New York. Interesting. Uh, besides the collections, I like these cases. Very, very random. We go from Mastodons to shoes. <laughs> Ooh, to tin mold food things. That is awesome, the little picture. To, to miniature toys. Really cool. First building, burning drugs. Some cool stuff. Wait. I don't know if you, if you could hear me. I said there's some cool stuff. Ha, ah, get it? It's a hearing horn. Bah, bah. <laughs> Magneto electric machine. Yeah. They had a cupping kit back then. They used to cup. Everyone thinks it's something now. I know. That's where it came from. So, Mom, is Museum Village how you remembered it when you were a kid? No. No? We just started. We did, we did just start. The, the electric gas light is really cool. <laughs> I do like all the, the, the stuff. We have St. Peter's Ward. I like snuff. <laughs> snuff is in the pharmacy. You could get your cloves all the time. You could. Cloves. All the herbs that were used. Phenol. Anise. Some beauty products here. I do like in all the old soda fountains in the old pharmacy like they used to be. Do you want a cherry smash? That sounds interesting. What do we take their cherries from our cherry tree and smash it? Is that how that works? I like that it's from Jenica, New York there. It is cool that the pharmacy used to be like the hangout. You get your soda fountain machine there. We're there. I never knew Target had their own cigarettes. <laughs> I like the sign, Humphrey Specifics. Treat you for your fevers, your worms, your diarrhea, your teething. All the good stuff. Some sore throat, kidney disease. Really cute baby powder tins here. Yeah. Joy, I have, I have a question for you, Joy. Joy. What? Are those horns? Probably a prosthetic. I'm gonna go meet Prince Harry. Their mastodon. We found Prince Harry, their mastodon. We found right here. Actually, uh, not that far away in Harriman State Park. We're gonna do a video there soon. Not today, though. Do you think, Joy, when they first discovered it, they saw the head, they thought they found the lost cyclops of Bear Mountain? 
possibly. And then it could have went to an elephant. Maybe an elephant. I don't think we had elephants, but we do have mastodons. This guy's big. Giant ground sloth. I wonder if giant ground sloths were as slow as our sloths nowadays. The megatherium, which was the giant ground sloth, did also move slow at 50, 80 feet. It was also shaggy. Oh, watch out, watch out. This is, this must be because we have an alligator here. One of those New York City subway alligators that we hear about with the bear behind it. Photos from 1952 when they were getting the mastodon. Excavating, is that the right yes. word, Ma? Excavating the mastodon from Hireman. Like all good natural history, little museums, they all need their rocks and minerals. I do like that everything here is from Loka. All the local area mines. Ooh, and then our seashells. I could hear the ocean from here. I was gonna totally say that. I stole your joke. You did. I'm sorry. It was a good joke. That's why I said it first. I see why you were like a mom. It's small scale. And yeah. They have the minerals. It's cool. It's local. Yeah. We do need that. It's a squirrel cage. We sometimes get squirrels in the winter in our uh, crawl space in our house. We need the squirrel cages. We need some off all day. They are really cute. It's a two-headed fox. Actually, it's just two foxes. Yeah, and the dog stayed around too. Hangs out with the squirrels. N nothing like really, really old school taxidermy. I love the bearded dragons just hanging out on the wood, like no mount, no display, just like there he is. So mom, what were you telling me about these squirrels? That these weren't traps, these uh -huh. actually were cages for them. Mm -hmm. To teach young boys responsibility, they used to have squirrels as pets. Very cool. Snakes in a jar. Better than snakes in a can. Cool little birds. I'm right next to the bowl, some, some whale vertebrae. Oh, what do you like? Like yep. the arrowheads? Arrowheads. Right, the arrowheads of New York. With the years they were from. I do like arrowheads. It's why they're tattooed on the sides of my head. That is a really cool display with the squirrel at the base of all the birds. What makes rocks fluorescent? They even have a fluorescent rock museum here. It's rocks fluorescent. Ooh, I like this one, Joy. It's so bright, you can see it. Oh my god. The other side isn't really that bright, but I'm making Ooh! It, it sort of shows up. That's a first. I was nervous that this the camera awesome. wouldn't catch this for you all, but it does. And of course, they're right near where, where, where I like to go, near where, um, it's near Space Farm. Franklin, New Jersey is where all these things come from those mines. But then we walk out the other side. Back to the real world. Oh, this is cute. I um, was a Boy Scout and Eagle Scout. This fluorescent mineral cabinet was built by Boy Scout Tree 416. Yeah, so that's spelling. I thought it was going to be a church or a schoolhouse. It's a fire station. I thought it would have been pulled by horses. It looks like the men actually pulled the fire trucks. <laughs> oh, I like in the back this cool artwork painted on that one. We do have some horse drawn ones here. I was looking at this. Imagine trying to save someone's life running up a ladder like that. You said a gentleman as a fireman told me this is called a pump pier ladder designed in France and the top would actually hook into the window frame and you'd hold the center of the ladder and uh, the, the parts that you step on were called the brakes. Interesting. And I also learned that this car, which was called the steamer where it held the water, didn't have the hose. So that's what these cars were for, were separate, where the hoses were taken to attach to that to put out the fire. Interesting. These also have like trivia. Yeah. 
gotta learn. The more you learn, the better. We can't go in here, the mid Hudson wood carvers, but I like they show the progression of the carving. The outline of rabbit, making the image, and you start whittling out to that. It's really cool, but what I actually find more interesting is if you see the, the glass, I love how glass ages and it's sort of like a hard liquid that gravity takes a toll on and pulls down the glass over hundreds of years. It's cool, more buildings. Set up like a, almost like a track. Oval shaped, the buildings along the outside, the festivals on the inside. Joy, we're gonna try some tea before we go into this thing. I think, yeah, Should we not? split it? All right, we can split. Tea for two. Yeah. Two for tea. We're in the farm tool building. They use the trees as anchors, theoretically, to hold up the building. Some cool stuff. I survived the Civil War battle at Museum Village. We saw inside, actually, another one said I survived the Civil War reenactment, which I liked more. It's a cool machine. I was looking at it. I love the old wood look. It's actually an oat clipper. Remember, folks, always clip your oats. Service announcement from Joe Lunchbox. A root chopper to cut your beets, turnips, carrots into small pieces. And we have some cool pieces here. I like in this weather vane, this fish weather vane. The quill Sorry. is very nice, yes. Are you west side or east side? I thought it was from the south side. Oh. <laughs> but Joy. What? Don't remember, don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's why this one has three. <laughs> oh, smart. You all might have seen the TV show Breaking Bad, but have you seen a breaking bar? Here we have a cool little treadmill made to churn your butter that you would hook your goat or dog to that would do the exercise for you. This one's dog power, it says over here. This is cool, a foot powered milking machine. I've never seen anything like that. You hook that up to the cow's teat, and the milk would come out and fill your pocket. I would love this stove in my house. Joy, you might have to start the fire the right time you want. Ah, Joy, make me a scrambled egg. No. no I'm the one that cooks, so. It would still be no <laughs> even with the gas stove or electric stove, it doesn't matter. Um, He's just hanging so out. Here's that way it draws in this direction so we can continue to properly It's just, just chilling. Al, you're not doing your job. You're not scaring any of the chickens away. I want to pet you. Come here. Come here. No, do you want to pet? You're cute too. I'll pet you. <laughs> Joy, they heard him in the sideshow. They think I'm the geek. Oh no. Dun, 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 dun. They might not be on the roof, but we did find some goats. I like he's scratching himself against the wall. Yeah. Good, good scratch. Get your scratch on, goat. Joy, Weird Al said it best. I want a new duck. Mallard, I think. Baker, make me a broom. That's the way the song goes, right? I don't think so. I know I've seen that movie, and I don't think oh, it's, ma it's Matchmaker. Oh, well, you gotta keep the Matchmaker away from the brooms, because the matches and the, the, the Not that hay of that. Oh, oh. I just came out of the broom makers. I'm very sad. All the brooms, I didn't see a single witch. I was searching. Not one. When the. The stables or the, the livery. And like all good 
wagons, we of course we need the hearse. I guess I just needed a spot to put their big canoe. So we have a few hearses here and a few wagons. This fence at Museum Village, they actually do have in October their own haunted attraction. We don't get to go to those because Joy's afraid of the scaries. Is that the live scary? scary? The live scary. She goes through all the dark rides. She's good with horror movies, but the live scaries where they jump at you, she, we, we don't do those. Here, if you want to get in this little wagon, ride around. I like that the guy has a dog in the front with him. We wait over here because the step actually says it's for the wagon, but today there's a line. I think the bird was actually a lamp because of his fatty diet when the, the candle maker is building. And that's a, uh, I never seen something like that. The bird itself became the candle. I did like this whale's lamp. It's bullseye lens using whale's oil. Can't do that nowadays. Whale's oil became popular in the Hudson Valley with whaling opening ports in Newburgh and Poughkeepsie in 1831. Some cool machinery. Mom's excited. It's face painting. I think she wants to be a cheetah today. Mom, go rawr, rawr. <laughs> but only after she gets her face back. In the old blacksmith shop here at Monroe Village. A little viewing platform. This bus set up a lot for our elementary school kids. The blacksmith's on a short 10 minute break, so we're just checking on his uh, his building for him. <laughs> Joy? Yes? Here's a question for you, Joy. When you see old anvils like that, does it make you first think of Looney Tunes? Actually, it does. I figured it was. Well, that's all, folks. This is the changing exhibit. I might have to edit this in case there's nudity because they're changing in there. Right, Joy? Not, not that kind of changing. Okay, then we can go in and we'll take a look. Oh, I think they just mean they change what exhibits in this building. Now I got it. And it looks like more pottery. I caught a fish and it was this big. This is a cool part in the ever-changing collection. Impossible bottles. Little puzzles in the bottles. It's impossible. And I do like some of this curiosity glass, like shaped into guns or hats. One. I so want one. It's uranium glass. Oh, cool. It is pretty cool. Glowy. Look at that. That's it glows with black light. Uranium glass. Of course, the front, the spring. Look, can we jump in it? I like some of these primitive, uh, not primitive, but antique, let's say, 1800s kid toys, like the rocking horses. She's already saw the sangria. She's running right towards the booze. See, she goes. Joy's trying the sangria here. It's a little stronger than some sangria. It's 30 proof. I like it's called free fall sangria. Very, and, uh, very fruity. Like you can definitely yeah. taste the fruit in there. I, I haven't asked them yet, but I like it. it's free fall sangria. This image is a skydiver, and they do have flyers to go skydiving on their table. You like me to what? Grab one? what do you mean? I think I know the guy's hobby. Skydiving flyer? No, you don't need to grab me one. I will never, <laughs> ever, no. Hasdar Winery here. I think Hasdar. Hasdar sounds good. No, because there's not enough. I'm about to try the orange creamsicle <laughs> wine. I never had anything like it. Sounded good. How is it? Oh, it's really good. Does, does it taste like yeah. creamsicle? It does, but it does still taste like wine. So <laughs> it's good. I was afraid it was going to be like too overpowering, like creamsicle flavor. Yeah. And it wouldn't, but no, it's, it's a really good wine. Awesome. So I got the chocolate strawberry. I'm trying this. It smells very like um, strawberry, like very pretty. Oh, is that nice? It totally tastes like a chocolate strawberry. You're a fan? It's very good. That's good. Their Bloody Mary one, the one that you had, was actually, it had like a nice kick to it. Mm -hmm. Like I still taste the kick in it. 
yeah. like it's actually like the, yeah. the and that's what that's what I'm about to try I do have the, the the Bloody Mary I took wine a sip base. <laughs> yeah. And now the Bloody Mary wine. <laughs> it is really good. I like that how the vodka is overpowers Bloody Mary. The wine really blends smooth and adds a different flavor. No. Their mix is uh, it's a little spicy though. That's what I, said. I, like it. it's I had It's got a good flavor. Not spicy like. Not spicy. Oh my god, but it has good flavor. I know where it's got is it? It's not crap. Mm. Like I want to try their. Now I'm gonna try. Hi guys, join us. The Aztec one. Uh, Aztec chili. I'm about to try That's the one I wanted chocolate. to actually. How's it smell? Can you smell? People, people at home, if only you could smell. Oh my god, it smells so amazing. You actually does smell like chocolate. That has to be one of the most delicious things I've ever tasted. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, this is good. I might become an alcoholic because of this. I could, I could drink this every day. <laughs> Got my, my honey stem from here. It's interesting. Avocado honey made from the avocado plants flower. Joy's trying it out. What did you think, Joy? Wow. I don't know if I got on a photo, but we'll get Joy. Wow. Avocado honey, what do you think, Joy? It's definitely different. It's... Obviously, it doesn't taste like the no, fruit in avocado, but... It has like a little hint of It like has good creaminess. flavor, yeah. Just we're at the gourmet peanut butter shop, Peanut Principle, and I got myself a birthday cake, peanut butter. I didn't try that one. How was that one? It was really good. It actually has sprinkles and pieces of birthday cake That's in awesome. it. I did the seriously good cinnamon, mm -hmm. so it actually had like, looked like it had the uh, cinnamon. Mac and, and cheese. My mom sees mac and cheese. She's, 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 she's moving ahead. She's moving ahead. Oh, I might get that for breakfast. Some lobster mac and cheese. So we just had artistic taste. Then we got the lobster mac and cheese. Which I like. Come get even close on this joint. It's oh a full God. little lobster claw there. It's not like skimping. <laughs> little lobster meat. Oh, that's good. Don't worry, this thing's overflowing. I'm just trying to make it so we don't spill it everywhere. Oh my god. I, I have to eat around the border. <laughs> Whoa, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing it for you, Joy. I'm eating around the border so it doesn't spill on you. I think I would take the, the chance. Oh my god. All right. I'm really good. We got music. These guys shooting guns over there. Eating my lobster mac and cheese. Got my family. What more can I ask for? More mac and cheese. And more samples. <laughs> That's what we're gonna go get after I finish this. <laughs> Just checking out Lake George Distillery. They had really good cinnamon whiskeys. Joy's trying. What are you trying right now? It's the cinnamon one. She said to end yeah. it with, with cinnamon because it's cinnamon. And, and after you finish it all, you could go buy your knives. Oh. Put a little kid playing with his knife. Went to my favorite hot sauce spot. Yep. They didn't have the lemonade, my favorite sold out. The eliminated eliminated for today, but instead I got Chipotle, it's good. I love, if you ever see them at any festivals or anything, the black, uh, the, what is it? It's a raspberry hot sauce. It's delicious. I put it on my eggs every morning. It's really good. Put in Bloody Mary's, gives a little sweetness to a Bloody Mary. If you have a really hard vodka. But this is good too. You should get some. I love the little dog sitting in the front seat. Like, the wagon passing by for the little dog in the front seat. So cute. So cute! I'm, I'm trying Cass. Car I can't even pronounce it. It's a liqueur. Krupnikas? Krupnikas. It's a liqueur made out of honey. Honey and spice and Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that little tip of the glass, I mean, she, she likes it. It's delicious. Ten spices, two types of honey. Ten spices, honey. We walked around, we looked at everything at the honey festival. Bought too much stuff, the backpack is now full. So I think we're gonna start heading out of Monroe Village. It was a good day, but we're gonna exit through the gift shop. <laughs> like they always do. <laughs> like we always do. We have the book, Our Friend the Mastodon. You can buy it here at the gift shop. Ooh, there's fun games in it. It's full of knowledge as well. Investigate, research, and think, folks. Mm -hmm. 
What did you find out? I found, I liked, I used to have this kid, the flying planes. I never had flying dinosaurs and, and ladybugs. Oh, that's cute. And cock shapers? I don't know. I don't know. I would go for the classic, The Crow. It's my favorite movie. I just get the crow that flies off. Oh, that is cute. Uh, I'm Trigo. And to let it open. So that was it, folks. We've been to Monroe Village and the Honey Festival, which we weren't planning on, but it happens to cool. be here today. Um, it was really fun. The collections are weird. It does look like it's just some old crazy guy that bought a bunch of buildings, put his collections in it. Like but, you one day. But that will be me someday <laughs> when I get old, so I enjoyed that. Um, so Museum Village, been there, done, done that. that. If you're around Monroe, New York, check it out. It's a cute little thing. Definitely uh, look to see when stuff is going on. Yeah, we've been trying to come some weekends. They were closed to close Memorial Day. Well, I, the other thing was I was in the hospital, which was another story. But that'll um, be a different day for a story time. Yeah, but it is cute. It's it's not that big. You can finish this. I feel in like an hour, hour and a half to two hours. Mm -hmm. So don't don't make a whole Maybe. think yeah. it's a whole entire day activity. But it's good. Safe travels, good eats, oh, and, and live, live life. life. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Till next time.